Also, the best kept secret in the NHL is finally revealed. Our team's new name released in a very cool video. The Seattle Kraken will rise from the depths of Puget Sound next year and make their home at Climate Pledge Arena. We have team coverage for you this evening with sports director Paul Sylvie. Chris Cashman has the fan reaction, but we're going to start with Chris Daniels, who has been on this story literally for years. And Chris, I said it earlier, it made you chuckle, so I'm going to ask again, what's Kraken? <laughs> What's Kraken? Well, Jessica, we've been tracking the Kraken, and yes, the puns will continue from here. We knew 18 months ago Seattle was going to have a team when the National Hockey League franchise awarded the team to Seattle, but the immediate question then was what was going to be the team name? Now we know. We are proud to give you the Seattle Kraken. 18 months and countless meetings later, Seattle decided to release the Kraken. It was a decision team leaders actually reached months ago and fought to keep secret since March. The power of this name was in the theater of the mind. Kraken CEO Todd Lightwicky says that meant carefully handling trademark details and not selling branded merchandise on launch day for fear a screen grab or sleuthing shippers could spoil the fun. We said we don't want this to leak. Uh, and there's a number of examples of things leaking where uh, the organization lost what should have been a defining moment for their fans. Blue was floating around. Fans had asked for it. Nick Corbett of Adidas helped design the logo and jerseys, which feature four shades of blue and one distinctive color called for by majority owner David Bonderman. Mr. Bonderman were sitting around the table with us, and everybody loved the S. And uh, Bonderman got up took out his finger and it's like the E.F. Hutton moment when he speaks everybody and he put his finger where the eye is and says there needs to be an eye there. That eye color is dubbed Red Alert and will likely also feature prominently when the Sea Monsters of Seattle, now known as the Kraken, take the ice in 2021. By the way, Lywicki also said today that despite some small delays in construction because of COVID, that the construction on both the new arena and the training facility and team headquarters at Northgate are still on track for opening within months of each other in 2021. That's the story for now. Live in the home of the Kraken, Chris Daniels, King 5 News. But first, but first, let's go to Paul Sylvie, who's also tracking the Kraken. <laughs> Listen, you know, I think it's a, I think I think it's been a tremendous what they did leading up to this big announcement today. Uh, you can think what you want about the name. I like the name. I've been, always been a fan of it. I think it's just, it just lends itself to so many opportunities. But they really did a tremendous job with the uh, sweaters slash jerseys, the logo. Uh, I love the fact that they didn't make it so campy and clowny with a big, you know, sea monster on there. They just had that sure, subtle like, did he prefer something else? Up. Very cool. So uh, I think that it's just, I think it was a, a really good move for these guys to do what they did. And uh, I think Todd Lewicki, uh, Chris, are you still there? I'm still here. I'm still here, Paul. What's Listen, uh, you spent a lot of time with Todd Lightwicky and, <laughs> and over the last couple of years. I spent a lot of time with him back in the Seahawks days. We know he's always been fan first and uh, gets largely credited for creating the 12 flag at CenturyLink Field. He wanted to get the fan base around that team and get him reignited, uh, and he wanted the fan base around this new franchise, and he, he just did a great job with that, I thought. Yeah, I mean, the, the one thing he did point out today is Kraken wasn't even on the radar when he moved back to Seattle at, after you just alluded to serving with the Seahawks, the NFL, and the Tampa Bay Lightning of the NHL. But, you know, this was one of those things that it almost, as you know, Paul, came out as a half joke because Jerry Bruckheimer, the movie producer, is a minority owner of the Seattle Kraken, and he produced all those Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Everybody knows about the scene with releasing the Kraken. So that's how two and two came together in almost a half joke. And then as Lywicki and others dug into the name, they started seeing the possibilities, the logos, the, the merchandising ideas, and here we stand today. And that is the team name. Although, did you prefer the Sockeyes, Steelheads? You like this one? 
No, I think from the start, I, I just didn't know they would go all the way with the fictitious sea creature, but they did, and, uh, and I'm glad they did. You know, uh, it's been fun kind of going on social today and, and watching all the NHL players react to the, uh, to the name, the colors, and the jersey. So that's kind of fun, too, something we can talk about throughout the night. Chris Cashman got a chance to talk to local fans who are excited about this new hockey name, team, and colors. And, Chris, what would you find out? Well, Paul, you're a sports guy. You're a hockey guy through and through. How do we know it's fictitious? I got the King 5 swim cap right here. I think me and you, we take it out to the sound. We find out the old-fashioned way. But in the meantime, greetings from Cary Park, the best view in town. You've got Climate Pledge Arena over my shoulder. And, of course, the Space Needle waving a brand-new flag. So what perfect day to check in with fans, the pulse of the people, as reaction is spreading like the tentacles of the Kraken. But first and foremost, we had to talk with Seattle's loudest sports fan. He's got his own action figure. It's Big Low. It's been released, man. And, you know, um, a lot of people against it, a lot of people for it. It's growing on me. It really is. Uh, Jerry Bruckheimer, what a genius. I mean, he had to be the man behind these ads that we've seen the last two days. And, wow, definitely mind-blowing. So, the Kraken is really growing on me. This season is going to be absolutely lit. Release the Kraken. Release the Kraken. Do you know what a Kraken is? Do you know you still don't know what a Kraken is? Yeah. Mommy's been talking about a Kraken and they have no idea what a Kraken is. Release the Kraken! You've got all of Seattle's sports teams tattooed <laughs> on yourself. Is there any room for the Kraken? Well, unfortunately, the stealth left town, so it's in the works of getting laser removed and uh, that's gonna be the new spot for the Kraken. Release the Kraken! From the Washington Wild, release the Kraken! Release the Kraken! Release the Kraken. I'm Benicio and I hope that we can release the Kraken. If you guys don't take a nap and give mommy some quiet time, mommy's going to release the Kraken. Release the Kraken! Well, very clearly, the people have spoken, and at the very least, we've already got a catchphrase, thanks to Hollywood, and in part to minority owner Jer Jerry Bruckheimer there. Release the Kraken. Paul, you say it's a fictional character. I say it's a case unsolved. We hope our Seattle Supersonics come back to town, join them in Climate Pledge Arena. Then we got Squatch. We get the Dragons back in town. Paul, this is working out. <laughs> Seahawk, Squatch, and a Kraken. So if you can bring me proof of all three of those, Chris, I'll be very happy. I'll, I look forward to that day for sure. All right, that's Chris I'm gonna go Cashin find them. All right, we've got a lot more. <laughs> we got a lot more online. You can. You can text uh, hockey to 206-448-4545. We'll send you a link. A lot going on in sports today. The Mariners open the season tomorrow night in Houston. We'll hear from Scott Service coming up a little later on in sports. Plus, with the Olympics one year away, we will feature a local champion taking aim at gold. Live from the deck, I'm Paul Silver, King 5 Sports. Paul, you are going to make me follow up on all that. <laughs> I don't know if I can handle it. I like the Kraken. Right. Thank you.